welcome, welcome back to Conquer Crochet. My name is Karen Stangrim and in today's video we're going to be looking at 200 Crochet Blocks by Jan Eaton. So a little while back I set myself the challenge of trying to use up as much of my stash as I could. One of the projects I decided to do was a granny stitch or granny square blanket uh, where I took all the different colours I had and married them up with a white so I had a single white thread and whatever colour I had left in my stash and I crocheted the two colours together to make one blanket and actually this is the blanket here so you can see there's lots of different colours but the white going through it really helps to marry the colours together. Uh, it was in uh, it was in August, uh, which is traditionally Granny Square Day month. If you like, Granny Square Day is always in August, and I thought, right, I'm going to do a Granny Square Day throughout August. So I had a couple of different books I wanted to use, and one of those books was this book by Jan Eaton. There are some absolutely fabulous pictures in here of the different designs, but I'm going to show you some of the ones that I made. So not only do you get all the different patterns for 200 different blocks, you also get the different techniques and how to do those particular stitches. There are suggestions for colours and ideas that you can use if you're looking for colours and want to know which colours look good together. There's lots of ideas for those in there. And she does give you different colour variations of the same block so you can see how it would look in different colours, which I found really useful, especially when I was trying to use up my stash colours. She also shows you how you can mix and match the different patterns together. So some of them look particularly good together. Um, so particularly like these ones. There's also a section on different edging uh, patterns that you can use. So different techniques you can use for edging your blanket if you decide to actually put them all together. Um, I particularly like a plain border on something that's got lots of design in but she has lots of different edges that you can try so if you want to try something new you can have a look in the back of the book there. So if you're not feeling too confident about which colours you would like to use and you can't really put them together yourself she does give you the exact yarns that she's used with the exact colour and make of yarn so that you can go and make the exact replica of what she has in the book so something for everyone there that you can either do your own thing or you can follow word for word what she's put in there so i really hope you've enjoyed this review of 200 crochet blocks for afghans and blankets by jan eaton highly highly recommend this one i thoroughly enjoyed making them and one of the things i like is well, you can take a little square if you're traveling somewhere, if you're going on holiday, you can have one on the plane with you. Um, if you're sitting in a car journey, you haven't got a massive blanket, you can just take little squares with you. So that's really useful. And then you can just make as many as you want and it can go in the boot and then you can make the next one and that can go in the boot. So you don't have to be carrying a big bag of your project around with you all the time. So that's a great idea. I'd love to know in the comments if you already have this book and which ones you've made. If there are any particular ones you found tricky. Um, they do have different levels in them. So there's a one crochet hook is like really easy. Two crochet hooks are sort of, you might need a little bit of experience and expertise in crocheting. And then there's the three crochet hooks, which is sort of what she would say the expert level. Um, I think I did a couple of those that were the expert level and I didn't find them that tricky. Um, so, you know, maybe just try them out it depends how far along your crochet journey you are as to how how you feel you are with a one two or three crochet hook 
So thank you so much for joining me on this video. I will put a link in the descriptions and also link at the end to the playlist where I review lots of crochet books. I only recommend books that I have and that I have tried um, and I will give you an honest opinion of what I think about the book and the way the patterns are written and that kind of thing and you can see in those videos the examples that I've made from the book sort of in real life rather than just seeing what the designers come up with which I think is always nice to see that you know a, not a real human but you know somebody else other than the designer has actually done something with the book. I will also put a link in the descriptions below to where you can buy your own copy of this. Thank you so much for joining me on this one. I will see you either over on the other playlists on the screen or I will see you in the next one. Thanks very much for joining me and happy hooking!